Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate FECO aspiration, which means aspiration of lens matter. In this case, a 42-year-old lady, the lens was so soft, the lens matter was so soft that it came out by aspiration. Let us see the surgery. By this time, all the side ports have been made Viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and now capsular axis is being done. The capsule has been incised, a capsular tag has been raised. I'm holding this tag with this uterta forceps going anticlockwise and making this rexis. This is a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Not necessarily in all cases it becomes circular, but this is a fairly round rexis. Now, hydro dissection is to be done. This is hydro dissection and this is hydro delineation. Hydro delineation has been attempted at two points. In this case, hydro delineation didn't produce any golden ring. You can just see a cleavage between the nucleus and epinucleus. Now, I can make out that the nucleus is so soft in this case that it will come out by aspiration. So I am going, this is the Oatly FACO machine, Oatly Cataract 3. I go bevel down, the FACO tip is kept bevel down and now I start aspirating and gradually I make the bevel up. So towards the end, see, the bevel is up. So the whole lens matter is out in few seconds. And now viscoelastic substance is injected. In this case, I am going to use a very simple instrument and a very efficient instrument in my hand to remove this cortical matter. This is a 23 gauge Simco cannula and it is working very fast. Only thing is polishing with this instrument is not so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do hydro polish. Hydro polish means polishing of the posterior capsule by irrigating fluid. This is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. I am just using the jet of fluid and dislodging the cells and see how nicely the posterior capsule has been polished. That's it. Now in this case I have selected Technis 1. So Viscoelastic substance is injected, the capsular bag is inflated and now this is the lens, hydrophobic, acrylic, aspheric, intraocular lens from Abbott. It's a very nice lens, I like this lens very much. Only thing is the haptics are very thick and I don't put this lens in the sulcus, always in the capsular back. That's it. Now, I have dialed the lens with the help of two instruments. Now, I'm going to remove the viscoelastic substance. First step, I'm just going to irrigate as much as possible. I'm going to irrigate out the HPMC that I have used. HPMC is a viscoelastic substance which doesn't come out easily. So it gives enough protection of corneal endothelium, but it is it is it takes a long time to come out. So first step is I have irrigated out a lot of viscoelastic substance with Simco. Now I'm going to use this irrigating probe of bimanual IA, irrigating the anterior chamber going behind the eye well, going behind now and irrigating the space between the lens and the posterior capsule. Again, I come anteriorly and that's it. Thus, by irrigation only, lot of viscoelastic substance come out. This is step three. Use both irrigation and aspiration together. In this way, I have taken more time in this case in removing the viscoelastic substance than removing the cataractus lens. 
this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now hydro hydration of the side ports are done. So in this case, the lessons learned, learned is FECO aspiration. Just keep the bevel down initially, and as you aspirate, you rotate the FECO tip, and at the end, the FECO tip should be bevel off. And as I irrigated, this is the stage four. You could see that the viscoelastic substance that was sticking to the corneal endothelium came out, and thus I formed the antechamber and conclude the case. So this video will help you in developing your skills. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention.